Hi everybody, Lisa here from How to Zazzle. So today I wanted to just make a simpler video for people just starting out on Zazzle. Um, it might be a little bit boring for people who already know how to make products and stuff, but I hope it's helpful to people who are just starting out. I just wanted to show you how you can take a quick little cartoon or graphic that you made and put it on several products. So here I am just drawing a cute little turtle. I've been really into turtles lately. I live by the Mississippi River and it's been flooding. And I've been out there taking pictures of the turtles on the logs that are floating by and they're just so cute. So anyway, today I just wanted to do a, a little turtle um, cartoon and then show you how you can quickly put it on multiple products. So Zazzle used to have the quick create button where you could upload one picture and it would go on multiple products. But they had to take that down because the bots and stuff were abusing it and just making like you know products that weren't quality because if you put the same image the same exact size and everything on multiple items you don't have time to take you know you don't adjust it to the right size or make sure it's centered or add a background or text it's just the same exact thing goes on multiple products and it probably looks good on like 10 percent of them and bad on the rest so they removed the quick create button so here's a way you can quickly make a bunch of products though with the same image so sign into your zazzle store go down to the create button and just pick any product i'm going to start with the mug okay go to customize this design go to upload images and upload whatever image you want to put on the cup so i'm going to upload this little guy. So I put the image there. And I'm going to put a name. And I'm going to go down here and click template object. And right here, um, it says text one. The person, your customer can now go in there and edit the name if they want. So that's it. Just a cute little turtle coffee mug. Sorry if you can hear a little pitter patter here. My dogs are walking around. <laughs> so, okay, so that's it. Then you just click sell it. And then fill in your information. Pick the category or the department. And then in the description, um, just make a detail and use lots of keywords where you think people would search for your product. I'm not going to put an event or recipient for this and I'm going to put this in my store and people have asked me this before like how you get your products in the store and here you go down to where the store is and you click what store you want it to be in so I'm going to put this in drawn to you and then I'm going to pick the category and I'm going to put in animals and then put some tags. You can put up to 10. It's rated G. I just leave all these how they are. This tells you the royalty you'll make and then click I have the right to sell it and then click post it. And that's it. 
So once you, now it will be in your store to sell. So what you can do is you can go back here to go there now. Click on your product and you'll see how it looks. And then you go, can go down here to transfer your design to a product. And then you can put it on different things. So you can leave it exactly how it is, or you can click Edit Design here. Now see how that's smaller? Before in the Quick Create, it would have showed up small like this. Here you can go in and, you know, make it a little bit bigger and center it and all that stuff. So, it, so it's just going to have more quality products on Zazzle by taking away that create, Quick Create button. But it's still a pretty quick way to make a lot of products, you know, all together. All right, so we got the turtle there. Now you can leave this blank on the back or you can add something if you want. little ornament then pick which picture you want to display when you click sell it it's kind of a silly looking turtle isn't he that's okay and you can edit anything in the description part and you know this whole page you can change everything and that's a part that was missing in the quick create is you couldn't go back and do all this really quick so it's not as fast, of course, as Quick Create, but you can still, you know, make several things pretty quickly. So I'll show you one more time. We'll make a, about a button. Or here we'll make a magnet. So here's a magnet. I'm going to go down to two and a quarter. Now I'm going to click off the screen and click select all and then enlarge them all. Until it looks good and centered. And I click off. And because the last product we made, remember we made that a template, it's still going to be a template. So you don't have to go through all those actions again. So there's a cute little magnet. Click sell it. And now when you click sell it, all this information is going to be in there. Glance through it in case there's anything you want to change. Change it if you want to change anything. You know, you can change whatever you want. Or leave it the same if it fits. And that's it. Now you get the basic idea of, you know, how you make several products. And it even works even if you want to change it. It's still pretty fast because all the basic information is there. So, like, I'll go down here and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to make a, a tumbler with this turtle. I can't tell if this turtle's cute or weird looking, but either way. Maybe he's cute because he is weird looking. So here I'm going to make a tumbler so everything's going to pop on there. Now you can leave it like that, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to tile the turtle. I think I'll make him a little bit smaller. 
and you can fool around with the different tiles on here. I think I like that one. And again, you can leave it like this, or you can add things, like if you want to add a name, so somebody can personalize it. I'm going to center that. And let's see, should I make it smaller? And then I'm going to add a name. go down here and make it a template so the customer can change it and I think I'm going to add go to elements again just make it a little fancier Fill a color, I'm going to put transparent. The border, I'm going to make white. And I'm going to make it a little bit skinnier. I'm going to narrow the thickness of the border. And there, there's a water tumbler. So click sell it. And now here's another way you can make multiple projects, um, multiple products quickly. Oops, I forgot on the other ones to change this part. Remember to do that, to change that part of it. I'll have to go back and fix that. But anyway, I'm going to put tumbler, animals, leave all that the same, and then sell it. Okay, then go there now again, and I'm going to go to Edit Design, and then you can add in a background, say. Sell it. And what happens if you leave this description exactly the same? Zazzle will group automatically group together the products that are the same except for a color. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make several colors of this really quickly. I'm just going to change this to blue. I'm going to change that to blue. Leave everything exactly the same. And then at the end, what will happen is Zazzle's going to group those together. It doesn't do it right away, so unfortunately I can't show you right away. Well, I can probably show you on a different product. But so anyway, right under here, see where my mouse is? It's going to sh show the customer this tumbler and all the different colors I just did. So they can go through and click what colors they like. I'm going to show you. An example real fast okay so see this person's 2023 calendar they're right here So they can go over here and they can click on black or turquoise. So when you make a product and don't change anything, you can, it, Zazzle will group them together so the customer can click through and pick what color they want. Now you can do that manually too. So I can go to products.
I know I said I was making a quick video and I just keep going off so now it's getting longer. But see these three tumblers? If you don't want if you don't want Zazzle to do it on their own or you're afraid they're not going to, you can click on actions and then go down to group project products. I forgot to select them all. Select the products you want in one group. Then go down to actions, click group products. I never really write anything there and then just click group and then within the next couple days you'll see that when you click on one the customer can choose whichever one they want they'll be able to see it in blue black and white also you saw me make a mistake um, in the description when I went through and made several products I forgot to change what the product was so let me show you on the ornament the first thing I made was a coffee cup and in the description down here see how I accidentally forgot to change it, that it was a coffee mug that it wasn't a coffee mug so how you can fix that quickly is you go to your products page click on actions and then click on edit details and then right here you can edit things you know so down here I'm just gonna um, click click off that and add an ornament and then I have the right and you can go here and change the category the merchandising the tags additional information royalty information click done and now it will be changed so now when I click on the product it'll say ornament So see now it says ornament. So I'm gonna go back and quickly change all the products so they say the right thing. So anyway, I hope that that helped you guys learn a couple new things, and I hope you guys all have a day, a good day. Happy zazzling to you. Bye bye.